We're asked to find the generating function for each of the following sequences by relating them back to a sequence with a known generating function shown here in the table. For part A, we have the constant sequence of threes. This one's pretty straightforward. We probably recognize this is just three times the constant sequence of ones, which has a generating function of one divided by the quantity one minus x. And therefore, the generating function for the constant sequence of threes is just three times one divided by the quantity one minus x. And of course this is true, but let's develop a strategy that will work when the sequences get more challenging. Let's first write the given generating series for the given sequence, which is three plus three x plus three x squared plus three x to the third plus dot dot dot. Notice all the terms on the right have a common factor of three. Let's factor three from the right, which gives us g of x equals three times the quantity one plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus dot dot dot. Notice inside the parentheses, we have the generating series for the constant sequence of ones, which again we know has a generating function of one divided by the quantity one minus x, which indicates a generating function for our sequence is three times one divided by the quantity one minus x, which is three divided by the quantity one minus x. So again, we probably didn't have to show this much work for this sequence, but when the sequences get more challenging, this technique is very helpful. So for example, on B, we have the sequence two, four, six, eight, ten, dot, dot, dot. The generating series for the given sequence is g of x equals two plus four x plus six x squared plus eight x cubed plus 10 x to the fourth plus dot, dot, dot. Notice now the greatest common factor on the right is two. We will now factor two from the right, which gives us g of x equals two times the quantity one plus two x plus three x squared plus four x cubed plus five x to the fourth plus dot, dot, dot. Again, looking inside the parentheses, this is a generating series for the sequence one, two, three, four, five, and so on which looking at our table, we already know has a generating function of one divided by the square of one minus x, which indicates the generating function for our sequence is g of x equals two times one divided by the square of one minus x, which can be written as two divided by the square of one minus x. For part C, we have the sequence zero, zero, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and so on. The generating series for the given sequence is g of x equals zero plus zero x plus four x squared plus eight x cubed plus 12 x to the fourth and so on. We can leave off the zero terms and write g of x as g of x equals four x squared plus eight x cubed plus 12 x to the fourth plus 16x to the fifth, and so on. Notice now the greatest common factor on the right is 4x squared. We will now factor 4x squared from the right. This gives us g of x equals 4x squared times the quantity one plus two x plus three x squared plus four x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. And again, looking inside the parentheses, we have the generating series for the sequence one, two, three, four, and so on, which we know has a generating function of one divided by the square of one minus x, which indicates a generating function for our sequence is g of x equals four x squared times one divided by the square of one minus x, which is equal to four x squared divided by the square of one minus x. For D, we have the sequence two, eight, 32, 128, and so on. The generating series for the sequence is g of x equals two plus eight x plus 32 x squared plus 128 x cubed, and so on. Let's factor two from the right. This gives us g of x equals two times 
the quantity 1 plus 4x plus 16x squared plus 64x to the third plus dot dot dot. Notice inside the parentheses, we have the generating series for the sequence where the terms are powers of four. We have one, four, 16, 64, and so on. Looking at the table, you may recall, if we take the generating function for the constant sequence of ones and substitute three x for x, we have the generating function for the sequence in which the terms are powers of three. Which means in our case, we can get the sequence where the terms are powers of four by replacing x with four x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. Or to show this even more clearly, we can write g of x as g of x is equal to two times the quantity one plus, we can write four x as four x to the first plus, we can write 16 x squared as the square of four x plus, we can write 64 x cubed as the cube of four x and so on. Looking at the series in the parentheses in this form, it should be even more obvious the generating function is found by substituting four x for x in the generating function for the constant sequence of ones. So the generating function for the given sequence is g of x equals two times the quantity one divided by one minus four x, which is two divided by the quantity one minus four x. I hope you found this helpful.